was off the grid with Jesse Ventura. Just search the name Jesse Ventura. You can find his Facebook, his Twitter, or the Aura TV page as well. We have links to it up on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. I want to cover the waterfront with him, though. <clears throat> We've got the Pope coming to the United States, uh, promoting uh, carbon taxes, saying don't have air conditioning, uh, that you know the earth can't handle us all living well, uh, teaming up with Obama. Why are we paying for what the Associated Press calls the largest security operation in U.S. history? I'm not anti-Catholic, uh, but at the same time, I do not think the Pope speaks for God. What about folks that don't believe in God? I mean, why do they have to pay for a foreign head of state who's got trillions of dollars or euros in the, in, in the Catholic uh, you know, banks? Why are we doing this? And I'm not trying to bait you into a Catholic bashing fest here, Governor Ventura, but uh, just throwing you a wild card here out of the gates. Uh, what do you make of this? Well, obviously we don't want nothing to happen to him on our watch, do we? No, I hear that, but but still at the same I, time, I mean, that, you know that that I, I'd like to think that would be the reason is that they want to make sure that uh, the Pope is safe here and uh, and that he gets out of the country in one piece. I suppose I don't know. You know, after all, we're a lockdown nation, Alex. You know that there's a terrorist behind every tree out there, and you know it's called keeping everything safe. It's keeping things safe costs a lot of money. You're being sarcastic, of course. You're being tongue-in-cheek. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, that's the only logical reason I can come up with is that they they feel that they, they need to keep the Pope as safe as possible, and I, I hope that nothing happens to him. I like this Pope, and, you know, I'm ready to go out and see him with a big sign, Atheist for the Pope. All right. Uh, you I know like what? guy. You know what? Why do you like this pope? Because he likes open borders? No, I, I like this pope because he said I can go to heaven. Oh, really? Uh, and and w on what subject was that? No, the pope said atheists can go to heaven. Well, I understand that you were made and, to go. And I, I, I love it. I have a chance now, you know, and because <laughs> he's, he's the highest there is, and he says that I can go. Well, here's, a good person. here's where I stand on the whole atheist deal. I get people that can say, hey, I don't believe in an imaginary guy in the sky. Uh, I believe in science. I believe in what I can empirically see. Separately, though, humans only see a tiny spectrum of reality. They've proven dark matter. They've proven other dimensions. So many scientists that were atheists get into the genetic engineering realm and go, my God, something made this. Most scientists do not believe in evolutionary theory now, but it's its own religion, Governor. Well, but then again, what about the, this guy they just found lately? This latest uh, ancient humanoid in Africa? Yeah, they, who walked upright, they buried their dead. Cripey looked like a monkey to me. Yeah, I mean, he, a gorilla. You know, he didn't look like my neighbor or nothing. He looked pretty different than me, but yet he looked humanoid and half monkey, and he walked upright, and he buried his dead, and, they, and all this stuff. I mean, you know, let's remember something, Alex, that whenever man cannot explain something, it's real easy then to attribute it to God. My only issue is so many atheists, and you're not like this, but so many atheists hate people that are religious and act not like they're... True. Oh, that I know a lot of atheists, too. true, Alex. Atheists don't hate anybody. We just don't believe in that there's a magical person you talk to. And, uh, or, you know, that we don't hate nobody. You can believe what you want to believe. If you want to go worship a tree, just don't force it onto me. Just well, don't say I agree. Ventura, don't force you me. You gotta believe in this. Don't force me to pay for abortion, and don't force me to pay for the Pope. Well, if the leader of Russia came here, would we provide security for him? I don't think it needs to be the biggest security in history. No, and that's a foreign leader, not a religious leader. We have a separation of church well, and state. Excuse me. <laughs> There's more Catholics in the world than there probably is in one country. No, absolutely. There's a there's a probably eight hundred million Catholics or more. Well, you know, 
see, I understand, I, having been in government, Alex, I understand the pomp and circumstance, and I understand what they do and why they do it. And it's called just proper respect, and it's this and that. Now, if you want to, well, then I got one for you, Alex. Mm -hmm. Why do churches get by tax-free? Because Congress shall make no law establish, uh, respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. Congress has no jurisdiction. No, but they get the same benefits that I get, and I'm an atheist. I have to pay more, yet the church gets its streets plowed. The church gets fire protection. The church gets police protection, doesn't pay a thing for it. They don't pay taxes. We should all be treated equally. Wait, and sounds you like you're these, talking about illegal wait, aliens you now. These, and then you've got these guys out there that claim to heal people and all that. They call themselves a church, and it's done strictly to avoid being taxed on anything. I think all churches should be taxed. Well, and, and it even says in the Bible, Jesus said, let Caesar have what Caesar's. Well, that was a question of taxation of the church, and he was saying clearly that that's Caesar's currency, whose face is on it, so that's his system. So I get what you're saying there. But in yeah, our system— why, Well, as an atheist, why should churches not pay property taxes? They receive all the benefits. How come I have to foot the Sure, let me answer the question for you. Because Thomas Jefferson, that the left loves so much, came up with the idea of separation of church and state. That means— as an individual, you can say or do whatever you want in government buildings or government finance facilities like public schools, but there cannot be an official religion of the state or one that the state picks discriminatorily and that Congress has no authority and can make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. That has nothing to do with taxing them. The They're getting services, Alex, that I'm paying for. What about they the illegals? The illegals get anchor also. babies for free. The illegals get all these services. You're all for that. Oh, Alex, come on. You, now you're the illegals get all the things. Illegals also pay taxes and don't file tax returns. How about that? How about Congress shall make no law you know, respecting the establishment of anchor babies you, Alex. You and can the free exercise? You want to benefit religion if you desire, but take it the route then. If you're going to use it on one hand, you have to use it on the other hand, too. Well, I think you've got a really good point. point. being is, how come I have to pay? You're claiming you shouldn't have to pay for the Pope to be here. I agree. And I'm saying, well, how come I have to pay more taxes because churches don't? Well, it's obviously not fair from any perspective. And let's just be clear, because I don't really talk about religion with you a lot. There is no one more critical of establishment churches and religions, their political whorehouses, their frauds, their jokes, their con men, most of them, uh, who want to be fake leaders, who sit there and manipulate people and basically sell the equivalent of indulgences. And they get to do it tax-free. And I don't because like we that. Don't dare touch them because they're religion. Because it's fr or the or the press or the people's right to assemble. It's the First Amendment, and I think it's 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 a good thing. The problem is churches now are 501c3. They're now charities, Governor, so they're not even really churches. They're more than that. They're, they're the whole thing of religion is nothing but a massive business. Why and so why shouldn't they be held to the corporate standards? They're 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 no different. Religion's no different than a corporation. Well, I agree with you that churches should have to pay for local services, and in most cases. They do they pay the local taxes for fire uh, and police, and they, they do. Don't. They don't. They're they're off limits. You can't tax religion. Why not? You know, you've been a mayor and a governor, and I, and I don't know Minnesota laws, but and I, I defer to your knowledge on this. But I believe a lot of states, uh, the churches do have to pay the fire fees and the property taxes and the rest of it to a certain extent. But I agree with I you. Would check up on that before you make that statement. Well, I know it varies that state all to state. Comes out of property taxes, and churches don't pay property. I know taxes. in a lot of states they don't, or they pay amended uh, lower levels. But listen, I agree with you that c Congress, the feds, and, have no business. Wait, and churches, when they get this break, they also get the benefit of being political, because the same churches that pay no taxes put signs up that marriage is between a man and a woman. But that's my so next point. More discrimination. Yet they don't pay their end of the law. See, my belief is if you don't pay taxes, then you have no right to participate in the government system.
Well, I know this. Um, churches have a First Amendment right to have their views, and I don't agree that sure. that's a political Nobody's statement. denying that. Sure. But I don't think that's a political statement. But, but I don't want to get too far afield. And we agree on a lot of stuff. We disagree on <laughs> some things. M my problem is, Jesse, is that they're turning the state and environmentalism and all this other stuff into religions as well. It's not just the Christians or other religious groups classically. The, 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 hey, you know what I learned, Alex, too, though? You got to check up on Horus. What about Horus? Horus was Jesus 70 year, 700 years before Jesus. Well, I do know that they... No, his, his background's identical. He was born of a virgin. He lived to 33. He was a carpenter. It's the entire same biography of a guy, a, a character named Horus, who was an Egyptian religious figure. Well, Horus was a god. years before Christ. Sure, you're saying, you're saying the Bible is plagiarized? No, I'm just saying that you, you might want to check out that there's two people with the same... There's two people that existed allegedly. No, no, no. I know about Zeitgeist. years apart with the same biography. No, I mean, I know about Zeitgeist. I'm in it. I mean, I, I, I wasn't part of it, but I'm in the movie. Long segment coming up. Phone calls. We'll get an update on the Chris Kyle trial. We'll uh, get an update uh, on, uh, from Jesse on election 2016 and more. But I, I don't want to get off into a debate. It makes for good radio. We have a lot of listeners that are Christians, agnostics, um, animist, uh, atheist, whatever. I know there are a lot of atheists and people out there that do fight the New World Order, who do fight globalism, who want to be free. I don't think somebody's bad if they don't believe in God. I think somebody's bad if they go out and push tyranny on people. But that said, what about how under Obama, they've not issued one tax exemption, well, they've issued one in the last six years to a conservative or libertarian group but they've issued thousands of the Democrats. What about Lois Lerner and the IRS targeting churches, targeting people, when of course they're being political? The Democrats openly recruit and operate out of churches uh, politically. And I'm saying, Jesse, if Congress can make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, you can say our religion is whatever you want. I mean, look at the Scientologist. It doesn't mean we have to agree with it. It's just that you've got the right. Maybe we need the church of Jesse Ventura. I mean, what would the church of Jesse Ventura be? <laughs> and let me make it clear, Alex, the only offense I took was when you said that atheists hate this and that. We don't. Atheists don't hate anybody. We simply don't believe that there's a supreme being that, that we talk to, because I've never spoken to him. And, you know, I'm not saying I just don't believe, but we don't hate anybody. You can be an atheist and love your fellow man, trust me. Especially when you look at it from most people that have religious be faith beliefs, belief they're going to somewhere else when they're done here. Atheists, we don't necessarily believe that, so we want to make the most of out of being here. And why would we want to make people angry or hurt or hate people when we kind of look at this is the shot you got, make the best of it? Well, I'm all against social engineering and control, and so I get the arguments, and then I'll quit talking about this and shift gears and some other subjects. Yeah, let's the, shift gears. But, but I just want to know, atheists love people too. <laughs> listen, it is the ultimate form of mind control to say, do what I say or you'll be killed or you'll be tortured after you die. Then you think you can't escape. It is a great social control tool, what man has done with religion. I absolutely agree with you. And religion has been used to absolutely enslave people. And we'll end it there. Let's move on. Well, I've got a bunch of questions. I've got a bunch of different topics I want to fire out at you. All right, go uh, ahead. Well, but first off, what else is on your radar screen? Well, not you know, like I said, October 20th, uh, I go in front of the, the Court of Appeals, the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals on the, on the American Sniper, and, uh, you know, they're appealing and trying to get uh, unjust enrichment overturned so that that way uh, the media can go out and defame anybody and profit from it and that the person defamed will not be able to uh, get any of those profits, even though, you, like in the case of the Chris Kyle book, that, that book had a pre-sale of 4000 When he went on national TV and lied about me and that story about me, it jumped 100000 in one day. One day. And that's the point. 
They use the defamation, and what they want to do is use the defamation to be able to make money, and it will become a business for them. They can pay off a little defamation and make millions on the back end. So they can publish 